Hey everybody, I don't know how long this little one's going to be, uh, I've just got a couple of things I need to get opened uh, and a couple of things I want to talk about, so I'm going to get on with it. Uh, the first thing is a huge thanks to Mr. Lamb Chops, Lamb Chop Rides. Um, you know, I've done quite a few videos in the past, getting very popular on YouTube these days. I was contacted by Rally Riders UK, uh, it's a, ch a motorcycle charity, they do a ride, they raise money, they're doing very well. I've helped support them in the sense of I've been retweeting loads of their stuff and sharing their links. Um, to try and help them out for a few years now. Uh, someone recently bought a clock from me and gave it to them for their raffle, but they actually independent. I don't know if that was last year or it's going to be in this year's. I don't know. But they contacted me and said, um, would I mind donating something to to the raffle they do to help raise money? And I said, you know what, sure, I'll do a clock. I'll make you a clock. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I thought, well, what am I going to make it out of? And I thought, well, rather than make it just about me, I contacted Lamb Chop and said, have you got, because he'd offered me um, a sprocket from his 701 um, Husqvarna. And I said, have you still got that? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went and grabbed it yesterday. I had a good catch up. It was good to see him. We're going to go out for a ride at some point. I'll have a, have a go on his, uh, his KTM. Anyway, this one's off his old KTM 640. He gave me that just as a, uh, as a thing to use. Very kind of him. But the one that's off the Husky is this one, and it does actually have KTM written in it, which is quite nice up here, so I've just got to clean this up and I'm going to turn it into a, a very simple clock, although I do need to get some countersunk um, hex head bolts, because some sprockets, are, well most sprockets are flat, so you know, you use nuts and things, but these ones are countersunk, so I need to get some bolts for that, but that's something I'm going to be working on, so uh, I'll probably do a video when I actually finish this, like a short construction video so when it does get given away someone can actually come back to the video and see that it was made by me. So that's that um, and I've got two parcels here that have been, let me just check, no address on this, no. Um, I've had two parcels arrive to the PO box and they've been sat there for like two or three days because I'm waiting to open them on camera and I'm getting really like, look, I won't want to open them now, they might be handy. So time to get these open. Ah! There's some diamond wheels. Thank you, whoever sent me those. Um, I have, as you may have seen, just bought a load of diamond wheels, but more is never a problem. So thank you, appreciate that. And this one which arrived, and is signed for, and was left on my doorstep. So the person who paid for signed for, thanks for ripping them off Royal Mail. They do it all of the time. I've just noticed there's an address on the back, so I can't flip it round. <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. Let's hope not to cut a note in half if there is one in here. Uh, there was no note with the um, thing. I do. I have a feeling I know who sent me that though, because they did message me and I did thank them. Ah! A disc. That's quite a nice little one. JD40. <laughs> I should make this Jack Daniels themed. <laughs> That's very nice. It's a nice, sweet little one. Um, no, no, for a Kawasaki Verse, Verse, is that you say? I'm going blank, I'm very tired, 650-2009, thank you, and, and um, I, don't, I won't use your whole name, just in case you don't want to use, so uh, Arnold, thank you man, appreciate that, remember that the PR box is not closing down, oh it's well, oh my god, I, um, I got to sleep at like half three last night, I was up at seven, I'll be doing this for a few days now to try and catch up. I'm getting somewhere, but today's Saturday, and um, I'm gonna do a couple of hours in here, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna spend some time in Reno, have Sunday off, and then get back on with it Monday. I'm exhausted. Oh, I should eat one of these, shouldn't I? Nothing in my body is telling me to put this in my mouth. I stop. Sending me spicy stuff. I'm the problem is I'm caught in this twatch twatch and <laughs> twatch. The problem is I'm caught in this twatch tw the problem is I'm caught in this catch twenty two situation, which is if someone sends me something, I feel like I should at least try it just to, you know, because they sent it to me. But at the same time it's like, please stop sending it to me. I keep asking. Especially this brand. Look at this friggin' luminous green. 
I hate the taste of ghost chilies as it turns out. It's like musty and horror. Oh my god. <sighs> yes, yeah, so I taste like a lemon, a sherbet lemon. It's quite, in a way, it's kind of nice. Because it's not too hot. It's weird. Imagine eating a chilli and a sherbet lemon at the same time. Just every now and then you get a hit in the back of your throat like, oh my god, and then it goes away. I think the sugar counteracts it. Well, actually, they're kind of interesting. A spicy sherbet lemon. I'm sure if I crunched it up it would be ridiculous, but you're not supposed to do that, so I'm not going to. Shut up, at least I'm eating it. I'm not being a puss. But for the love of God, stop sending me spicy stuff. I can't decide if I like it or not. It's weird. Um, I've made these little TIG welded keychains. TIG welded 8mm nuts, the stainless steel. Um, they're on my Etsy store. I've only made 10 so far. I'm sure they'll neaten in the future, but they're nice little things. They've got nice colour um, from the welds on them. I like them, and it would help support my channel, would help me get on. Um, talking about my channel, um, hang on. I'm not going to keep talking with a sweet in my mouth. Uh, yeah, they're not that hot. If they sold those without the heat bit in the middle, they'd be really tasty sherbet lemons. Yeah, the dragonfly uh, is not up for sale. I've actually, as you may have seen for the Q&A, but given the Q&A so long, I doubt that any of you are going to know about it, all these, because it's so long. Um, the dragonfly isn't going up for sale. I actually gave it to Reno as a present. She thought it was cute, so we're keeping that one. But I am planning to do more in the future, but I'm actually planning to do them, I think, at stainless steel. I'll be making multiple ones of these, so these will be more like designs rather than unique one-offs. Each one will be slightly different, obviously, because they're all handmade in the same way, but there will be a, a design where they kind of look similar. In the same way that the clocks I'm going to be working on today are ones I was sent by a very kind subscriber. These are great ones, because um, they're from a they're from a uh, Pulse, Lex Motor Adrenaline. Um, and these are 12, 12 these these wavy discs are 12 pointed both of them uh, so these make great clocks and i actually have this exact pair of sprockets on my wall one of them is the uk no i don't anymore because i gave one of them away didn't i this size or that size i can't remember i've got one that i've got on american time and i've got a, my other clock is derek's disc yeah because i forgot i gave one of these away to someone a long while ago but these aren't mine, these are from a very kind subscriber, but very cool to get the same thing again, to be able to make these, uh, these shape clocked. So I'm, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Sorry, I am talking so... I can't keep... Sorry, I'm having problems keeping track of what I'm doing. I am ridiculously tired. Don't worry, I'm not using power tools other than a drill. And as I don't know where I put the battery... Oh, it's charging. I won't be, it's not going to do a lot on its own. Okay, it's actually been about a week since I recorded the first bit of this video. A lot of stuff happened. I was You'll see some of it in videos. I was trying to get some stainless steel filler rod, which I now have, TIG welding. Bent it in half so it fits in my bag. And I've picked up, oh god, no, I don't want to lose that. I've picked up a couple of sets of nuts and bolts to make a couple more dragonflies out of normal steel. I'm going to make two out of steel again, um, but I also like to make some out of stainless steel. So having those bolts meant I knew the size I needed. Going online, I managed to find the fixings I need in stainless steel and they're starting to arrive in the post now. This is the first thing I have, there's lots more to come. So that's all on order and that's something I'm going to be getting on with. Let's see, I've got a couple of parcels here I need to open, so let's get on and open those quickly. Sorry, I really have been all over the place um, doing this, doing that, and then I got a phone call saying, you know, can you come do some boat work? And I was like, yes, definitely. So it kind of throw, it throws everything out slightly. Uh, right, does this have my... I have no idea what this is. We have a letter. It's Rob, who sent the Ninja 300 chain and sprocket kit, asked for some advice. I, uh, I'm, I've actually made another video for you because I'm trying to get a, an answer. I just wanted to say thank you to yourself and follow subscribers. I read through the comments and really appreciate the help from everyone so thank you all so much. He doesn't know yet but there is actually an entire video on that subject coming which is going to go to the um, the main channel as its own thing because I think this is a subject which will be very interesting uh, and it's actually going online today so he doesn't know this yet but also sorry I didn't say my 50 mile each way journey is along the M2, M25 so most of the time I'm doing 70 miles now. Exactly what I thought which is why that whole argument of this discussion of that video is best MPG 
at 70, not just best MPG full stop. Uh, I do have the Lextech XP13C carbon fiber hexagonal exhaust, blah, 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 sounds good, but I have seen some comments saying that could be a problem, so I will look into that and find a standard exhaust or buy one that I can fit. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know, I don't know. Once again, thank you, it means a lot. <laughs> he doesn't even know that video's coming yet. Uh, P.S. Here, uh, this is for you, for your help. I found an old sprocket and something I'd know if it held center it can spin, but best wishes spicy to both you and Reno. Is this in there? I haven't read too much of the what it is thing, because I'd like it to be a bit of a surprise. Oh, there's something in the bin. I actually need to talk to you about that. This one says, open me first. I'm glad I haven't read exactly what they were saying about what it is. This is some of the best packaging I think I've ever... Do you work in distribution or something? Oh, that's a, um, a clutch bearing. No, a, hang on. Basically, it's a one-way directional sprocket, so it would be a... Is that a, that's a type of sprag clutch, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder what I could do with that. It's very cool. Mm. Open me second. Yeah, whoa. It's a little smock mini vape. That's awesome. Thank you, dude. Um, I, people may not know this. I do vape, and the, the vape that I use most of the time is a um, it's a b b b I can't remember right now. I'll put it on the screen. It's big, so it stays at home. Thank you, dude. That's very, very kind of you. Uh, as I say, you, you don't know the second video is coming, so hopefully you can gain more information from that. Uh, it's quite an interesting debate. And also, kids, don't vape. But also know that I don't actually use hardly any nicotine in mine at all anymore, and I make all my own stuff. Anyway, we have more. I have two more boxes. I have this end of the box. I'm concerned. Oh, oh, you, no, there is no note as to who sent these, but you have done something dangerous. I see faces in everything. I am going to be turning everything around me into a googly-eyed, my, my machines are going to get eyes. I'll, I'll probably post pictures on social media as I do it. Once I have a phone. Oh, there's, there, that segue, perfect segue. Right, so my phone, I had a uh, Sony Z5, um... Basically, coming from work yesterday was like, nice, two days work down, I know what I've earned from that, that's a good thing towards, you know, get in, I'm like, oh shit, got to pay rent, so I pay my rent, then notice that Xbox Live is automatically renewed, and I'm just like, whatever, it's fine, I need it to do Twitch, it's fine, it's fine. And then my phone shit the bed and died. Um, it's, I've spent a good few hours, like, researching what the problem is, and it seems to be a common problem with Z5s, um, and I've tried reflashing it and it doesn't want to have any of it. And it's basically, it's already a three year old phone, doesn't want to do anything. I spoke to a phone shop and said, you know, what can, what can we do to fix this? And they're like, well, we can reflash it. And I'm like, well, I've tried that and it won't have it. And they're like, well, we can do it differently. I know you can do it with some different programs. Um, but they wanted 30 quid as a start to be like, well, that might not fix it. I had incidentally ordered a new battery and back cover because I thought it was just the battery that was messing up. Uh, it might be that, I don't think it is, because well, the warning it gives I think is to do with low power, but it's it's got battery power. Long story short, my phone is dead. And then I was like, well what do I do? Because obviously I need a phone, um, because I need it to speak to people about work, I need it to be able to keep up to date with you guys on social media and stuff, I need a phone, because you know, everyone needs a phone, GPS, the whole lot. Um, really has highlighted how much I use my phone by not having it. Um, not that I'm on my phone all the time, I'm, I'm very, very careful to not do that, but I do need it. It's, it. it saves me a huge amount of time versus needing to be at PCs and stuff. So I was like, shall I just go and buy a refurbished phone, a second-hand phone, looked around what I could get. I was could have replaced my current phone, the same thing, uh, for like 100 quid. And I was like, oh, I don't want to spend out another 100 quid. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to speak to O2, because I've been with O2 for 10 years now. Um, and my contract ran out like three years ago, and it was a two-year contract, so I've been off contract. And I just said, look, I don't want to pay you anything, and I don't want to pay any more a month, but I want you to give me a new phone, and I'm willing to go on a two-year contract. 
So that's basically what they managed to do. They managed to buy taking money off the cost of the phone, tweaking here, tweaking there. I'm paying the same amount of money that I'm paying per month now on a rolling contract, but I'm getting a new Sony um, XA2, which is what Reno's got, and I love the phone, because it's basically the same as the Z5, but a few upgrades, as far as I can see. A couple of downgrades in other places, but mainly it seems to be a much better phone. The long and the short of it is I'm paying the same monthly amount, I get a new phone, but I'm now locked into a contract for two years, but otherwise nothing has changed. So that was like solving a big problem with no noticeable change to me other than the fact that I'm now in a two-year contract. That was a smart move. Sorry, long story. That's cool. That's very cool. I like that. That would be an absolutely awesome... Look, it's got just a slight lift. That would be an absolutely awesome... <gasps> I want to do a dragonfly flying. Um... So we're not sat, I'm going to do it flying with the legs slightly differently. I was going to put it on a stem. That would be an absolutely perfect base. Clean it up. Awesome. I have a note. I love it when there's a note. Hey Spicy, thanks for the work you put into your videos. The steel sprocket is from a from a Kawasaki K2 400 uh, 1978. The brass is from 762 NATO. The aluminium uh, is from a slap bar. It's uh, 316L stainless. And I'm dyslexic too, as you can guess. Dude, fine with me. I, I'm bad at reading normal people's writing and I'm dealing fine with yours. If you ever need to run an idea, pass someone who's going to be his number and a return address. Oh, thank you, Peter. Um, that, as I say, that is. I know I'm a bit of a weirdo, but that to me is beautiful. There's something in the quality of the, the smoothness, the shape, there's just, it looks... I'm weird, I know. So, oh, okay, so we've got... It's a big old disc. Oh, wow! Wow, wow, wow! Okay, I understand what you're on about. It. That's light. That's very cool. I love the shape of that. Look at that. These are the stainless steel pieces. Dude. Wow. Dude. Seriously. Um, okay, so this is the stuff you've sent me. This is the stuff I picked up the other day. <laughs> the only difference is yours is a little bit thicker, which means that these would be really handy if I need to do some sort of base or something a bit thicker in a place. But I got... Um, I got all this. And this is... I think this is... 316 as well, so I think. Um, that cost me a tenner, believe it or not, even as scrap. Stainless steel is expensive! So these little pieces, which are wonderfully handy, awesome, thank you. An entire bag of fired brass. Where are you getting a whole bag of NATO fired brass from? Do you... They've got, I can't remember what they're called, but they've got the crimps for the primers, which means these were designed to be using a fully automatic. So, my guess is these are from a UK Army light machine gun. There's tons of it! I'm going to have to think of what I can do with these. I don't know. Thank you! Oh, I've got this. So this is a that's stainless steel rod. Very handy, very nice. And another sprocket. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and work out exactly what's what um, from what you've said and then I can mark up stuff. That's something I'm doing um, to make sure I mark stuff up so I know what it is. Keep track. Peter, you're awesome. Thank you. That's like the, a bag of coolness. Like, you send someone normally, like, oh, I've, I've, I've sent them some ra random pieces of stainless steel and some little pieces of, of rod and, uh, and a bag of old brass and some sprockets. And they're like, what did you send that for? And I'm like, Thank you. This is awesome. We, you are one of, you are definitely one of my peoples. Thank you to those people. It's very kind of you. Um, so yes, I think that's basically it, isn't it? I just wanted to give sort of an update, like, because where I've been all over the place. I mean, I make little random, like, subjective videos, and I edit those, and sometimes I don't come out for a couple of weeks, so I just can pick that here and there. But so there's times that I don't feel like I've done much video stuff, or I haven't spoken to you for a while, even though I kind of have through the other videos. <laughs> But to me, it feels like it's been a while. But yeah, so there's, there's loads going on. Uh, I'm currently I'm finishing these clocks off, trying to. Um, I've made the face plates. Look, look at the hand-brushed lacquered aluminium. These are handcrafted 
from sheet by hand. Yes, that's how handcrafting works. I'm also working on um, making some template wings. So basically, I'm going to make the wings again, but I'm not going to shape round them or anything, and I'm going to use them as templates to make more because I do want to make more of these dragonflies. I think it's a really saleable thing, and doing it in stone and steel means that technically you could use them outside in your garden. And I think possibly building it. It's, it's, it's developing ideas but I'm trying to see outside of just YouTube and motorcycle stuff, something that might get me noticed. I do sometimes think I need to get known in my local area but equally I don't think I want them to know who I am because they're like, that's that dick on that bike! I'm trying to be nice in my area, I don't shut my doorstep. I've also been working on this one, This is second, even though it's a very battered disc, uh, sprocket even, you may recognise it because it's really haggard teeth but it's very nicely like haggard equally so I've been working on that to round it and get it so it's not sharp and I'm now deciding what I'm going to do with this I might leave it in that sort of a look because it is quite cool or I might paint it I can't decide I've got other ones that I'm currently sort of working on that I've already cut the bare plates out for um, but obviously they are to be worked on but my main problem is I need some washers and I need stainless steel washers and these are they, 8mm holes, and I don't know what the outside is, but I've got to try and find some of these online because I need a half a dozen of these to finish these two clocks, and actually three including that one if they fit, which, oh, they do, yeah, they always just happen to be just the right size to fit in these, um, these parts. It's just nice to, to lift that surface up and give a little detail. Um, makes it look like it's had more, well it hasn't, <laughs> makes it look like you put more effort in, well, of course you have, you've actually thought about something like that. Um, but the local place where I buy these has been closed for days, with no explanation. I hope they're okay, but seriously, reopen. Do you need someone to run the store? I'll do it! Anyway, this is probably a long waffly video at this point, and most of you don't even care, but the few that do, the people that follow me on Patreon, the people who like the videos and come back time and time again, thank you, you're awesome. Um, I would like to point out, it's you see more and more um, vloggers talking about, I mean Yummy R6 has just recently done this, I don't know if you've seen about Yummy R6, uh, he's basically just becoming a cop. Congratulations to you dude, uh, that's a very honourable line of work to do, I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun, I'll be very interested to see what videos come from that and, and how things go for you. But he mentioned how he felt like he was making videos that weren't for him, he was making them that were, were successful. Like he, I mean, you can still enjoy making the videos but it doesn't feel like they're the videos you want to make. I make the videos I want to make, and that's why I get so many people saying, oh, this isn't for me, I don't like this, you're a twat, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm sorry, I'm who I am, and I really do represent myself and all the things that I'm interested in on video to you guys. I'm I'm me. And I don't need subscriber numbers to, to, to make me feel like I'm relevant or my content is, is valued, because I know it's valued from what people say, the things that people do that just go out of their way to be super kind to me and, and you know, like <laughs> TIG Welder and all that stuff. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. And I have forgotten one thing. Sorry, I am not waffling on. If you start, on, if you get a cheap welder and it has this stuff covering your hoses, remove it. <laughs> no, you don't always remove it if it's going to work for you. Basically, this is the shrouding that covers the hose and the switch for the TIG and it's very heavy, it's not very flexible, and it keeps moving the torch around and gets in the way. So, I picked up some proper um, hose covers. Yes, there is black tape here, it's just it's how I made it work. Um, it's basically a material cover that doesn't be so fire retardant and protects it, but it looks how much more flex you get. I mean, it's very cold in here today, so this hose isn't very flexible, but it's, it's not pulling. Like, I can move all this over here and it's not pulling, and you can actually coil it up tighter because the thing that was restricting coiling it up like that, to, like hang it over the side of the regulator or out of the way, um, was the fact that the plastic wouldn't bend that much. Oh my god. I have been so busy for so long. But I'm going to be getting on. I've got lots of stuff to do, lots of stuff coming up, lots of stuff I've got to pay for, so I need to really get my arse in gear. Hopefully have some more boat work middle of next week. Um, finish off the jobs that I started because stuff's gone off to get painted. So, good stuff. We're getting through just. Catch you next time. If you enjoyed this video and the other content on the channel, please consider following the links in the description to show your support. 